So now, let us work around with motion blur effect inside of Cinema 4D. To work with motion blur, first of all, I'm just going to uh, make a 10, a 10 frame animation. I don't want to keep it very long. I'm going to grab in something like a cube so that I can see the motion blur. And I'm going to add an auto keyframe to it. So I'm going to move it on the left and on the 10 frame, I'm going to move it on the right and maybe rotate this around a bit. So I'm just going to rotate this around a bit on that side and around here as well. So once you do that, I'm going to turn off the auto keyframe, let's play it, and there you go. There's my simple animation right over here. So now if I were to go over here and do the preview, you can see that there's no motion blur going on around here. So there's no motion blur whatsoever. If I were to render all of the frames as well, you don't see it. But to add in motion blur, you simply have to go on to the object that, that you want to add motion blur to. So you can right click over here, just like this and then go on to render tag right over here and on render tag you'll be able to see motion blur so just click on that and over here you can see that the strength of motion blur is here so that's it you don't need to do anything else just press the uh, render button right here and you don't see motion blur that is because you have to enable motion blur in render settings as well so on the render settings i'm going to go over here under effects and I'm going to add in motion blur over here as well. So motion to enable motion blur, you can go to vector motion blur right over here and the motion blur is enabled. So once you do that, I'm going to close this and press the play button and you'll be able to see a bit of motion blur is here. You can see that the motion blur is way uh, too much right over here. So you can reduce the motion blur amount by decreasing the strength right here somewhere around 16 percent. So let me just do that over here and the motion blur will be there. So this is the previous motion blur as you can see, no motion blur, a bit of uh, too much motion blur and a bit less motion blur. You can also see the quality of the motion blur right here. So to work around with the quality, let me keep the uh, strength pretty high, let's say around 100% itself and I'm going to press the play button right over here. So you can see that this is the motion blur right over here. You can see that there are some artifacts right here where you can increase the quality by going on to the render settings on the vector motion blur, you can see the phase density, there's the samples that you can work with. So you can really buff up the number of samples and do note that the render timing increases with this. So if I were to press the play button now, uh, now it takes a bit of time to render out and you can see that the motion blur is much more smoother in compared to the previous one. So you can see that this is uh, quite rough, but if you were to go here, it is quite smoother as you can see right there. You can also increase um, the time right here. So uh, I'm just going to, you can also work around with the number of samples right here, decrease the number of samples, also work around with the density and you get the different result. So based on what you need, you work around with this accordingly, just like that. So in my case, I'm just going to keep the samples up unto, until 300 because I really want a smooth motion blur and 100, just like this. And now I'm gonna close this strength I'm going to keep it to 30% because I do not want much motion blur. So let's um, render uh, an image sequence. So I'm going to go over here on to the settings. I'm going to go over here on to the output and I'm just going to decrease the uh, resolution so that it renders faster. And then I'm going to go over here on to uh, the output mode right here. So on the current, uh, instead of current frame, I'm going to say uh, all frames. So it renders from zero to 10 frame. So once everything is done, I'm going to press the render button right here and I'm going to press yes. So it'll render out everything as you can see and it'll render out the motion blur as well. So it's rendering out everything as you can see and then it'll stop. So now if I were to go over here, you can see that the motion blur actually comes into play as well, although we didn't see it in the preview. So if I were to play it, you can see that motion blur is there and this gives a really uh, natural effect to the animation, just like that. So that is how you can work around with motion blur inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.